if you're like me and the majority of Christians, there's been a time in your life where you have struggled with prayer. And when I say struggle with prayer, I don't mean struggled with like what you're praying about. I mean genuinely struggling to pray. Sometimes I'll start a sentence and I don't even know where it's going. I just hope I find it along the way. Like an improv conversation. An improvisation. Today I'm going to share with you a game changer that will help your prayer life like never before. Let's dive in. Hey guys, I'm Brian. Welcome back to the channel. I told you we're going to talk about a game changer when it comes to prayer. And y'all, I'm telling you, this is something that if you will start applying this in your prayer life, you will see it jump to like a crazy high level. And you will, uh, man, you'll really enjoy putting this into your devotional life, your time with the Lord. Well, what is that? The Bible. Now, I know you're probably like, duh, the Bible's important. But I don't mean the Bible in terms of it just being important and something that we read or any of that. What I mean is praying the Bible. Now, when I say praying the Bible, this actually has a long history of Christians throughout the millennia who have been praying through the scriptures. God has given us his word and it, the Bible teaches us that it has everything pertaining to life and godliness. And so as we use the Bible in our prayer time, as we pray the scriptures, as we pray through the Psalms or pray through the letters in the New Testament or pray through the, the stories of the life of Jesus, what we're actually doing is we're learning God's language and using that in our prayers. So my encouragement to you is if you're saying the same old things about the same old things, is to slow down, get in the Word of God, not just to read it, to study it, but actually use this as seeing your life, your prayers, your situation through the lens of Scripture. Now, I've got one thing that has really been beneficial to me that I'd like to share with you, and that is praying through the Psalms. Now, before we talk about praying through the Psalms, it's important to know that all of the Bible is important. It's all equally inspired. So maybe you're like, Brian, well, I don't want to pray through the Psalms. I'd rather pray through the, the letter of Romans. Great. Do that. I do that myself from time to time, especially when I'm struggling with sin or when I'm trying to walk out holiness and sanctification, man. I'm praying Romans 6, 7, and 8 in my life a lot. I've been recently praying the Great Commission, Matthew 28, and asking God to let me live under his authority and let me go and make disciples. So yeah, pray wherever you want to pray. But one of the great places to get started with this is praying through the Psalms. See, the Psalms were actually written as praises to God. That's the one book in the Bible that isn't God speaking to people, but rather people speaking to God. Now, to be clear, God is inspiring the psalm writer, so it is God speaking to us. But the function of the psalms are to be used in worship, in the context of humanity worshiping God. One of the things that I learned from Donald Whitney in his book, Praying the Bible, pretty catchy title, right? One of the things that I learned from him is to pray the psalm, pray the daily psalms. And what he does is he scans five psalms. Now he doesn't spend depth uh, he doesn't spend a lot of time going on a deep dive into the Psalms. He just skims over five particular Psalms every day and which one of those Psalms speaks to him the most for what he's going through at the moment. That's the Psalm that he prays through verse by verse. Now it's kind of complicated. So I put a chart right here for you to see what that would look like. But essentially, you start on whatever the date is. So if you're starting on the first of the month, then you would start looking at Psalm 1. Then you would skip 30 Psalms. So you would go to Psalms 31. Now, the reason you're skipping 30 is because there are roughly 30 days in a month. Now, we know they're like 31 and 28 in February and all of that. But this is kind of a, a track to run on. It's not a very, it's not a, a, a deeply precise thing. This is just something that we can get started on. So he starts at one, then he skips to 31, then he skips to 61, then he skips to 91, 
And then what was that? 90, 101, 111, 121. Is that right then? 121. Whatever the math looks like. Hey, I'm a, I'm a pastor. I'm not a mathematician. So <laughs> give me some grace with that. But the point is he skips to five of those Psalms and then scrolls through them. And whatever the topic of that Psalm is, if it is something that, that the spirit is kind of bearing witness with him, with what's going on in his life personally in that moment, then he will pray verse by verse through that psalm. Let's just say, for instance, you are reading Psalm 23, famous psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Well, all you would do in that prayer is you would pray through that and you would say something to the effect of, Lord God, I am so thankful that you are in fact my shepherd. Thank you for leading me in all the things that I have going on in my life right now. God, I trust that you are the one who is in control, that I am your sheep. Jesus is my good shepherd, and he said his sheep will know his voice. So God, let me hear and know your voice in all that I do today. Amen. Now, wow. Talk about power in prayer. And you just kind of go through that verse by verse as you're praying the Bible to God. I'm going to tell you guys, this has been a game changer for me. This has breathed so much life into my prayer time. And not just helping me to feel better about prayer time, but y'all, I'll be honest with you, I'm seeing God answer these prayers like never before. Now, this is kind of a prayer experiment that I'm currently going through. Maybe it's because I'm, I've got my eyes open looking for God to answer these prayers that I'm seeing it happen that way. But n nevertheless, what matters in, in today's video and what I'm trying to help get across today is this. As we pray God's word, as we filter it through our heart and our emotions and, and what's currently going on in our life, this is a powerful and a profound way to communicate with God. For more videos to help you grow in your faith, help you learn God's word and live God's word, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if this video has encouraged you or helped you in your walk with God, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, man. That would mean a whole lot to me. And so as always, I'm Brian. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.